Josh. Hold on, man. It's hot. Where did they go? Better be. What is that? Why is this damn hot? It's not that hot. Look, Kavan is a love on a log. You good? Hell no. Come on, come on. Oh. 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 Nathan Drake. How much further? Oh. That energy. By the grid corners my dad gave me, we're only parked about two clicks away from the camp. Should be. That direction. Maps, coordinates, clicks. We're camping. This isn't the Oregon Trail. This is enough for me. I barely made it past the Colorado River. Poor, poor grandpa. Maps don't have a GPS. As you can tell, your electronics stopped working halfway up the mountain. Plus, when my dad says camping, he means camping. So you mean air mattresses, hot showers, <laughs> and electricity? Oh, no. What I mean is half shelters, fishing for your own food, making spears on things you find to fish for your own food. Yeah, that's the kind of camping I'm talking about. Hold up, he didn't mention nothing about no half shelter. Wait, what's a half shelter? It's the horror story for me. <laughs> like a hut? <laughs> so wait, nobody's gonna tell me what a half shelter is? He had one job. Huh. You guys just don't understand. He loves nature, loves sleeping under the sofas. So how's the book? Hey everybody, welcome. Pull up a chair. There's s'mores galore. Chris? Hey, Brad. Huh? Yeah. Son, welcome. Glad you could make it. Wait a minute. Kelsey, was that your car? Parked no more than, I don't know, 10 feet from the door. What are you doing? Seeing how many clicks it will take to kill Josh. Thank God. A one click, a two. Come a little for me. You guys know if you have driven just a little bit past where he told you to park? I would have found the entrance. Yeah, that was my bad. I didn't know there was parking so close till I got here. And I couldn't call you because there was no city. You luck I got my boots on. I'm sorry we had to walk a mile and a half to get here. But we're here, okay? Dad, quit playing games. Where's the real campsite? It's right here. Huh? I was waiting for that reaction. Thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh. Wash me in the water. <laughs> All right, Dad, enough fooling around. When are we gonna make a fishing space and go get fish? Hey, you want fish? Yeah. Already caught. Kelsey? Maybe we should talk about what happened the other day. Oh, I guess I can't talk about this. Kelsey, this is important. I understand that, but there's extenuating circumstances that prevent me from discussing this. See. You okay, brother? Uh, just a little heated, I guess. Shit, me too. I just damn heat today. Look, just sit back and relax and enjoy the sounds of nature. Look at air. It's no underwater spear fishing. No deboning of the fish. They're all unneeded. You know, um, I'm gonna go listen to nature in nature. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it. No more. No more underwater spearfishing. It's not like I picked out the perfect stick for it or anything. But what about pitching tents and sleeping underneath the stars? There's wild animals out there. Mountain lions, bears, tigers, rabbits. 
All dangerous creatures. But we always pitch tents. I pitch a tent every damn morning. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not camping, we're renting a house in the woods. Nature by day, comfort by night. Living the sweet life. Is that? Magical herb, treating me. Life, liberty, and happiness. You blaze? I swear we established this. I thought you were joking. I would never joke about marijuana, it's not funny. <laughs> I think I need to, I need to go over there for a while. Well, if you need to talk, or to you know where to find me. Don't be talking Fred in the morning. I should do a podcast. I mean, Kelsey, at least make it make sense. We're supposed to go to court in a few weeks. I get that, Marcus. There's just a lot going on in my life right now that I can't have on the whole thing. I mean, I at least deserve an explanation. And when I have one, I'll give it to you. But as of now, I've already signed the papers to drop the interview. They brought me one. Excuse me. Everything good, girl? I don't. I'll do okay. Girl, you know we got you. Thank you. I, I just need some time. All right, then. Great. John Anthony? Captain Fitty, sir. That's not to me. You good, bro? Nah, man. You know how that you know that you know something, but then you don't know it at all? Kind of. This camping trip was supposed to be the catalyst that bridged the gap between my father and I. What gap? He seems pretty cool to me. I would love to have a dad like him. Yeah, I would have loved to have a dad like him growing up too. But I used to get disciplined for doing the exact same things he's doing now. I don't get it. Dude, camping. We're supposed to be knee deep in water by now, tents up. Have you ever gutted a fish? Can't say I have. Camping was the best thing that happened to us. The further and further we got away from society, the closer and closer we got together. Now it's nothing but s'mores, air conditioning, and distance between us. I mean, the s'mores are good though. And so is the AC. Honestly, dude, I can't relate. Your dad is right here, literally right there, within 100 feet. Isn't that enough? You'd think it would be. <laughs> Why don't you go try talking to him? All right, I'll be back. Dude, just be grateful that your dad's in your life. Kelsey, Joshua, uh, I have something very important that I'd like to share with you, and I realize things may be a bit different than you remember when you were kids. A bit? Yes. Um, might as well rip off the band-aid. It all started when your mother and I were on an excursion through the Peruvian mountains. Uh, we met another couple that was traveling the world. A few acid trips and some ayahuasca tea. This led to that. Oh, okay, Dad. Oh, stop. Your mother and I are getting a divorce. What? After some time, we realized that we had grown apart. And the only reason we were together was because of you two. Turns out I'd been a horrible asshole most of my life, and she didn't want to stick around, so. Joshua, where are you going? Camping. Oh, he'll be all right. I trained him up. You okay? No, well. Yeah, that, that went well.
the ranch was a wild and crazy time. Now, Enrique, Elizabeth, and their mother are off in Switzerland doing God knows what, but I'm here with you. Wow, Mr. Fields. I'm sorry all this is happening. Yeah, that's a lot for one person in a year. Dad, I had no idea. Oh, don't worry about me at all. I'm much happier now. I still love my wife. That's why. But we realize we're better apart. So about that ranch. I'm looking for a vacation next year. Call me here. <laughs> why has your mom called? Oh, I'm sure she hasn't replaced the phone yet. Hmm? See, at these events, there's a lot of excess fluid, and her phone was submerged, and... Y'all don't need to hear all that, do you? No, mm -hmm. We got... Moist. Where's the Josh? I haven't seen him all morning. I was thinking the same thing. Glad to see we're on the same page about something. I'm gonna go look for him. Make sure to check the riverbanks. Why? Do you think he died already? With his maps and compass and nature talk? I'm sure it's a survival thing. Yeah, survival 101. Water means food and most likely civilization if you follow it downstream. That's good to know. I'm gonna go look for him. I'm sure he's doing just fine. Yeah, I'm sure too, but I would like to hear from him. Plus, I need to take a walk. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, you coming with me? I'm not looking for Dora the Buffy Explorer without you. Oh, no, I can't do it. There's trees, bees, and no lions. Oh, don't fret about them at all. You're bigger than they are. Just make yourself scary. Come on. Don't you want to go find your best friend? Um, I'm cool. I'm going to hang with uh, sure. Mr. Fields' cousin. That's it. Let's go, Chris. But there's a cabin. Let's go, Chris. My cabin mark is a cabin. Trent, let's go. You have reached the voicemail box of Trent Ward. He's not available right now. Please leave a message after the beat. Hey, Trent. If you don't get up right now, let's go. Get up. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, those three are. They are quite funny, Mr. Fields. Oh, you come with Mr. Fields shit, man. My name is Fred. I'm a pass on that. Everything good, kid? I'm fine. Well, okay, then. Fred. Yeah. If I get lost in the woods without water nearby, how do I survive? Well, that all depends on the scenario. So, what were you wandering off, or did you get snatched in the middle of the night and left dead in unknown territory? I wandered off. Okay. The first thing is situation awareness. Look for known landmarks. Uh, big mountains are a good one. Why mountains? They don't move much, and uh, no mountain looks the same. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now, with civilization on the north or the south side of the mountain? Let's say south. Well, moss grows on the north side of rocks and trees. What if it was east? The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Nature provides everything that we need. It only asks that we protect it. Wow. You're pretty prolific. Mm -hmm. Do you think you could help me with um, the hut half tent thing that Josh was raving about? Did your father never teach you how to set up a tent when you were a kid? No. After my mom's funeral, he just left. Me and my brother stayed with our aunt for a while. But afterwards, we were put in a home for misplaced children. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Let's go. Well, son, let's go set up a tent. I think I got one extra in the car. Thanks. No problem. No problem. People. Do this for fun. Why? Bags, Chris? Really? Oh, I'm not getting my shoes dirty. Fun is sipping out of a coconut on the beach in Cancun. This is some Flintstone shit. People come out here because nature is peaceful. Damn it! My eye. A bug on my eye. Peaceful, huh? Looks like you about to go blind. That's what you get for dragging me up out of here. Oh! Oh! Oh, hell no. Which way is the cabin? You don't know where we are, do you? Yeah, I do. The cabin is northeast, west, south, down by the river with the hanky panky and the boom fire down from bank to bank, and in that order. Let me get this straight. You don't know where we are? <laughs> Chris, um, where is anything? Exactly. exactly, Marcus. Where are we? On an adventure. I was on vacation. Look, Laura you don't know where we are, neither do we. <sighs> oh, look, there's a campsite. It could be Josh. It better be. I'm gonna leave his ass out here with probably Bam Bam if it's not.
Hello? Is anyone here? Josh, are you here? I'm ready to take a shower. Shit, me too. Chris? Wait, I know that voice. That ain't Josh. Russell? Chris. Russell? Who's Russell? People I don't know. Uh, how can I help you? Help me by telling me, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm camping. Chris, is this irritating Russell? You I'm irritated? Yes. I mean, sometimes. Are you stalking me? Whoa. Explain to me how I'm stalking you. First you move into my dorm. I move out. Then you join my book club. I ignore you. Now you're just in the woods by coincidence. I like him. You really think I'm irritated? Yes, texting me all the goddamn time, another stalker's trait. Wow. I mean, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. I just thought we had a lot in common. Both medical students, both like sushi, both single. Now camping, we have all that in common. Mm, I don't camp, I just escape reality. Oh, I mean, well, I'll be here a few days if you want to escape and chat on the star. <laughs> I'm here with my family, so preferably not. Thanks for the offer. <laughs> yeah, that was cute. Hi, Russell. Hey. Um, we're looking for a short guy about yay high. Kind of looked like Laura Farquaad. Have you seen him? Can't say I have. Is there a river nearby? Uh, there should be one deep uh, further in the woods that way. Okay. Thanks, Russell. You keep in touch now, you hear? Sure. All right. Yeah, man. thanks. Stop following me. Mm -hmm. I know what's going on up here. Bye, mystery person. Bye. Good luck finding your little person. Uh, right. Thank you. That was odd. I'll say. I need details. Um, Chris, you said Russell was straight. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. My gaydar never lies. What are you talking about? B, 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 B. You know what? Yeah, yeah, you're doing just fine. Just, just put the pole through the hole. That's all you gotta do. You got it. Mm -hmm. Grab me a couple of groups. Jesse, need to talk. No, that was a statement. You need to talk. I don't know what to say, Dad. And they did. No. That's what you say. Dad. Mm-mm. And now you talk. Dad, there's a situation going on right now where I have a hypothetical question for you. Mm -hmm. Say I have this friend. A friend? Yes, a friend. And Say they've been lying to another friend for a very long time, almost their entire lives. But now this lie is getting in the way of them helping another friend that really needs them. Is it hurting this friend to uh, tell a lie in the first place? Yeah. How so? Well, she can't live her truth fully. Well, I would say she needs to stop lying. If she's around people who don't care to know her truth to begin with or they're not trustful, then she don't need him in the first place. Dad, I'm gay. Finally. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you so much for trusting me. I appreciate that. Well, what do you mean finally? Kelsey, I've known you were gay since you dated that girl in high school. What was her name? Amoeba, Amelia, Ephemeral. So you've known this entire time, but you haven't said anything? What am I supposed to say? You, child of mine who is gay, get used to it. I thought I was supposed to wait till you were ready. I thought you wouldn't accept me. Why? The whole military lifestyle, the whole don't ask, don't tell policy. Look, I, I was not a good father sometimes. I admit that. I, I did bring my work home, and my family's not an honor regulation. If I made you feel like you were not comfortable enough to be yourself, own home, for that I am truly sorry. I accept you, Kelsey Mayberry Fields. Oh. Yeah. I really didn't know about you kids, did I? It's okay, Dad, I forgive you. 
By the way, I'm bi. You what? Yeah, I should say Enrique had a magical time. I'm talking about <coughs> all the Mexican grannies. Mm. Things your mother never would do. I'm sorry, that was a little Dad. much. That was a little much. Huh? <laughs> Josh, Marcus, what are y'all doing out here? We're coming to drag you back. And for the record, I wanted to leave your ass up here. Well, I'm not ready to go back. Well, if you heard him, let's go. Wait, why? Don't ask him that. If it's not obvious, my family is falling apart, and I don't know how to deal with it. Well, first, you don't run off like an eight-year-old. Look, this is so bad that I want some normalcy. The only thing I see is your father has changed. Your parents' relationship has changed, but they are still the same people. Exactly. So pack up your stuff and let's go. I'm not ready to go back. Well, you heard the man. Let's go. Is that a big beaver head our way? No, that's a big ass bear. No, that's just Smokey coming to check the forest fires. Trip. Guys, 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 guys. We can't run. We have to be big. No, fuck off. No, off, no, off, eat. No, okay, no. I'm ready now. I'm ready. I think he stopped. I think it was after the food I was making. What's wrong with you? Huh? What if you were alone? I don't know. Man, I don't know. Why? Are you so worried about other people's relationships? They're my parents. They're still people. Come on, Josh. Your family's in a nice cabin back there. Stop being so stubborn. <sighs> Unless you want to go back with the bear. Because if you do, I won't stop you. Oh. Then when you grew up, it became an adult. That's a lie. Sometimes you still growing and changing. You got to love on each other a little more. Let's go. Let's get back. Yeah, it's this way. Whoa. So what is your uh, book about? Um, words. How'd you get here so fast? Oh my god, I'm so glad you guys are okay. We were just about to come looking for you. But I knew you had Captain Planet with you to save the day. Yay! You know what? <laughs> I ain't got time for him. I'm going to take a shower. Marcus. Uh -uh. Marcus. Hmm. Marcus. We have nothing to talk about. I was blackmailed into dropping the case. They told me that. You were gonna tell my dad that I was gay. And I was scared, so I acted irrationally. I'm sorry. If you'll have me, I would love to win this case and take the DA down while I'm at it. Blackmail. Wow. You know, I don't know what happened while we were gone, but I like it. Welcome back, Kelsey. Thank you, Marcus. Excuse me, I really need to take a shower. Yeah, you do. Shut up, Josh. <laughs> Son, I want to tell you that even though your mother and me aren't together anymore, that doesn't mean we don't love you. I know, I know. I overreacted. I need some time to think. I've got a lot I gotta work on myself. That reminds me of one more thing I wanted to talk to you about. Mm -mm. One thing at a time, Dad. One thing at a time. I'm gonna go and uh, check on the ribs. Hey, add an extra coat of sauce. Make sure they're nice and juicy. No problem, Dad. Fred. Ooh. Ah, excuse me for a second. Got the itch gitch ya ya. Ooh. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, 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 excuse me, excuse me, sorry, Hannibal. Oh, oh. Mr. Fields. I wonder how they're going to take it when they find out Anthony is their brother. Say what now? Oh, you heard that? Hannibal, don't say shit. We might not always see
Yeah, I'm fine.